Juvenile justice programs are very important tools to help local communities serve and protect at-risk youth. The Juvenile Justice and Delinquency Prevention Act was created 40 years ago to ensure the safety of youth who enter the criminal justice system and assist states with their juvenile justice programs and activities. However, these programs haven't been revisited by the Senate in more than a dozen years. Today, the Senate Judiciary passed legislation that I introduced along with Senator Whitehouse that provides long overdue policy refresh to these important tools. Our bill will improve opportunities for our nation's most vulnerable children and strengthen safeguards for youth who encounter the juvenile justice system. The bill phases out the exception that permits states to lock up juveniles who commit status offenses such as running away or curfew violations. It also adds additional support for youth with mental illnesses and guards against fraud and mismanagement of grant funds through enhanced oversight. We address concerns brought forward by whistleblowers who provided evidence that many states fall far short of the core requirements to receive taxpayer-funded grants. We crafted new accountability requirements to ensure that taxpayer dollars are being used appropriately. Our goal with this bill is to make sure that these vulnerable youth can benefit from the program's full potential. I'm hopeful that the Senate will act quickly to move this bill forward.